Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I just want to talk about the guy that uh, in the start of uh, Israel bombing Gaza came on the news and said that he's glad that his daughter, I'm talking about an Israeli, he said that he's glad that his daughter is dead according to IDF or ITF, Israeli terrorist forces. And uh, he's glad that she's dead because that means that she could have actually gone through worse by being raped and all that stuff, which uh, is quite the biggest nonsense that uh, Israel comes up with when they talk about um, the freedom fighters. So what I'm thinking now is that his daughter just all of a sudden woke up from the dead and came back with the other hostages. All right. She's alive. Thank God she's alive. Why am I saying that? Well, because yet another lie has been debunked. I'm not saying that the, the guy was crying crocodile tears because he probably did think that his daughter died. But the fact of the matter is that uh, anything that comes out of an Israeli's mouth, the Zionist's mouth, is going to be a lie. From now on, people are not going to trust anything that they say, anything that they share. So what I'm thinking now is, uh, shouldn't this uh, person, the guy who said that uh, he's glad that his uh, daughter died, shouldn't he come... On the media now after his uh, daughter has been uh, resurrected that uh, he should tell the world what kind of treatment she got from the freedom fighters that is the most moral thing you can do that is the most truthful thing a person can do if they really do care about uh, the truth. I mean, why wouldn't he tell the world that uh, his daughter was not raped? Why cannot he tell the world now that his daughter did not get any bad treatment? And just like any other uh, hostages that have been uh, very nice uh, when they come, when they, when they talk about the hostage situation and how they were treated, um, I don't think this guy is going to come on the media and talk about that because um, because that is not going to serve uh, the purpose of uh, the false state of Israel, isn't it? 